With the new in-season tournament, the Golden State Warriors travel for a road game against the OKC Thunder. I finally wanted to focus on the Dubs' best addition so far this season in Chris Paul. With 54 assists and only 6 turnovers on the year, I wanted to highlight CP3's incredible 1.13 assist performance, so let's get to it. With CP3 coming off the bench for the first time in his career, here we have him running the second unit with a staggered screen for him to go right. OKC understands that Paul is no longer the shooter he once was, and want to bait him into shooting long distance shots. Here Jalen Williams is playing a heavy drop, encouraging the shot, but CP3 purposely shrinks the floor here, knowing his defender is fighting to recover back from the Dario Sarge screen. CP3 and Sarge were connecting all first half, and here Paul goes for his classic shot fake pass for a wide open kick out to Sarge. The Thunder are also planning on living with perimeter shots from him, but here he knocks a wide open tray down. Sarge asks himself, why don't we do the same thing here with a flip screen with CP? When you understand the coverage, it's much easier for someone like Paul to manipulate the defense by timing a perfect pick and pop pass for another top of the arc 3 ball. You can tell OKC will live this again when Jalen Williams doesn't even put a hand up and Sarge sinks another rhythm 3 ball. Paul is obviously the point god, and here on an out of bounds play, we have GP2 cutting right to the basket, but this is a decoy to get Moses Moody free coming off the Sarge screen. OKC are not switching off ball screens, so this is terrible awareness by Santa Clara Jalen Williams as he skips a beat, letting Sarge cut straight to the rim. Great pass by CP for a tough finish around the basket. Somehow Oklahoma City decided to press up, leading to a half-court double team with Chet Holmgren. All Dario needs to do is pop out to the three and once again the game plan is to let the man shoot from the perimeter. This is a practice three for any NBA player to step into the shot, as Sarge heats up for his 14th point of the game so far. This one's a tough angle to follow, but we have a classic Steph Dre pick and roll where Curry scoops for Dre to attack the weak side advantage. Chet is fighting to recover, so Isaiah Joe makes the decision to rotate as the weak side low man off a technically non-shooter in CP3. The problem with this rotation is that now Jalen Williams is responsible for the two weak side shooters, and this is bad judgment in my opinion in terms of knowing your personnel. You got Klay Thompson on the wing, but you decide to close out on Chris Paul? Easy choice by CP to swing it to a much better shooter, and this is technically Isaiah Joe's rotation back to the wing, but he forgets his assignment, and this poor closeout makes no difference as Thompson splashes a 3 ball. We've been talking about Chris Paul's goal of unlocking Jonathan Kaminga this season, and so far it's been working. High pick and roll involving the two, with Chet Holmgren going up for the switch on ball. Underrated roll by Kaminga as he has Isaiah Joe on his back and what a sweet bounce pass by Chris Paul right to Kaminga. Williams comes over as the weak side low man to try and contest, but JK easily gets two of his season high at 19 points. It still amazes me that someone this short and old can still somewhat dominate the league with his ball control. Staggered screens up top for CP to go right, and we get a moody screen and a thunder switch. On the second Kaminga screen, the Thunder want to avoid the mismatch of having Jalen Williams play a drop, but I'll admit the Kaminga screen was low-key moving as CP manipulates his way towards the key. Nice behind the back bounce pass to JK at the free throw line and the disrespect by the Thunder with the hand down. This is an easy foul line jumper for almost all NBA players and JK knocks it down. Well there you guys have it, 6 games in and a number 1 place in the standings and I could not avoid making a video on Chris Paul. For the first time in his career, you're seeing a 1 point double digit assist game that he finally has the luxury to display. Paul no longer has a scoring need as his job is to solely keep the second unit afloat during the non-Steph Curry minutes. But he has exceeded expectations with a high plus minus while having an insanely great turnover to assist ratio. That is why they brought him in, and this experiment so far has allowed other players like Dario Saric and Kaminga to flourish. Can't wait to see how he keeps developing the second unit, so if you guys like this breakdown, like and subscribe to see more.